Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Gather around for another episode of the What Did He Said podcast, sponsored by Pie Tequila. We spilling shot glasses around here. Bobby's drunk. <laughs> I had one. <laughs> one put a, bottle. Put a ranch water cut in. Put a ranch water. That was kicking in. Yeah, man, we took a, uh, a little lunch break, man. We're chopping it up. And uh, hey, what did he say? All the people that tune in, man, make sure you tell a friend, subscribe, uh, tell everybody that all of our shows are on one RSS feed. Everything, Cafecito Time, Red Pelt Tamales, What Did He Said, everything under the What Did He Said, uh, what do you call that, Rob? Umbrella? Yeah, network, right? Yeah, and I think soon we might make the Patreon, like... Just make it like Chingo Bling community of some sort. We shall see, but let us know. We need the feedback. Uh, we're back, man, with Javi Luna and Dave J. Yes, sir. Hell yeah, man. A bunch of Texas comic heavy hitters. You know what I'm saying? Under yeah. one roof. Texas mm. in the building. Out here, represent. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, man. man. Yeah, I like them glasses, Javi. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. I'm fixing to get some 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 different ones. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm ready to change up the yellow, man. You gotta 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 keep the the tricks guessing, you know. <laughs> you know change it over. Are those prescription or is they just are, for they style? are no they're prescription, okay. man. I, I'm I'm blind, so I can't I can't wear anything just non prescription, but but I like the I like the the tint better because uh, uh every now and then my my. My eyes do start to water on stage. Yeah, and, I, and since I yeah, started emotional. wearing these on stage, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, the lights, the the I got like bad astigmatism and different oh, shit. Yeah. So, so like, like if the lights are too bright, like I, my my show would just start tearing up in the middle of a show. I'm up there like trying to do my joke. You know, like, I thought it's because you knew you were making magic shit. happen. And so yeah, <clears> this <throat> yeah. just helps it be a little bit softer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Damn, yeah. bro. And sometimes the angle of some of those lights, like El Paso, mm-hmm. sometimes they, they be like right there. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, you, to like go you back can't to El Paso, really see it. I haven't been back there in years. Really? Years. Yeah, it's oh, been wow. years since I've been out there. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think the last time I was out there, I was featuring for. I don't even think it was for you. I think it was some other, some other cat who I don't remember. There's uh there's a man we should try to check it out. There's a barbecue place. I think I think it's called Desert Rose, I think. But yeah. it's like, bro, they got them big ass baked potatoes and uh-huh. they they don't hold back. They well, just well, our buddy uh Sean uh recommended some uh, uh had another recommendation for us some barbecue. Oh yeah. Spot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for uh, Sean Ralph from out in Od- Odessa. Odessa. Man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Member of the Tamal Intelligence yes, Agency. <laughs> stand back, stand by. Yes sir. Shout <laughs> out, man. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's lots of I'm excited because there's a lot of good. There is a lot of good food in El Paso. Oh, there's a uh, taco tote. Taco tote. Uh, uh, El cometa. Uh, uh, the, uh, the Don Cucos. They got the they got the potato. They got the the the, the bean just soaked in the in the butter with the carne asada and all that on there. And then there's the other one that we go to sometimes. It's uh, it's like a it used to be a, like a, a a train car, like a box car. Oh yeah. You can go into a restaurant. I haven't I been there in a long time. They, they got uh they got they got some double dipped wings out there. Uh-huh. Double dipped honey wings, man. Yeah. yeah. So I'm glad we're out there for, for three days because get to space it out. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't seen you haven't seen the new green room at the comic. I've not been there since they updated the green room. So I'm it's excited cozy, about bro. that. I, I'm it's excited cozy. not not to have to sit next to a mop. Yeah, you know, and an uh, uh, ice machine. And an ice machine. But it's all good. Just go, go ahead and crawl over the, the yeah. beer cases. <laughs> on your way. Hey, before you go on stage, you mind bringing in a couple of yeah. uh, cases of Bud Light? A bar back. <laughs> <laughs> not, yeah. not, only, not only did he work for Twitter, but he was a bar back. Yeah, I was also a bar back at the comic strip. You ever yeah. do that club, Dave? Comic strip, the yeah. comic strip, yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. I've, I've been to the new green room. It's um, cozy. Beautiful over there, yeah. It's nice. Yeah, man. They, uh, they, they, that hotel they put you up in right behind. There's this two hotels back there. There's one that's like, it's like Mm -hmm. a motel kind of, and then there's the big, more modern one. That's the one they gave to the the immigrants. The one with the pool. Yes. The one with the pool. Yeah, that's when they gave to the immigrants. Families out there. That one, the the, I can't remember what it's called, but the one it's like an ice facility now. I was when I had an Uber behind there, and the guy points at that place, and he goes, "You know, that's where the Night Stalker killed for the first time, <laughs> in that, where the comic strip used to put you up oh, in wow. that hotel, yeah, right there." Wow. He said it was. It was. There you he go. was. He would like worked there, Richard Ramirez, and he where, worked at the hotel. That's what this is. What this, the Uber driver told me, <sighs> and he goes, "Whatever room number that was when it was still a hotel, no, no one stays in the room. It's like blocked off. But every night." At like two or three in the morning, the front desk gets a phone call from a little girl going, 
help. Mm-hmm. He's killing my mom in here or whatever. Mm-hmm. Now there's no. Now that it's an ice facility, they say sometimes on the radios they could hear that same. No, uh, that's what they say. Mm-hmm. Nah, mucha say. crema, mucha, mucha crema. crema. You're gonna have to go ghost, you know, ghost adventures over there when you're down. Nah, he's going to my chain. Nah, you know, I swear to God, I swear to God. I'm go- good, man. We should stay there because killers stay with killers. You know what I'm talking about? You know, and on this tour, that, that's all we got. And if we hit MMA gyms in the daytime, then drillers make killers. <laughs> so, hey, in this <laughs> position before submission. Hey, down. that's right. You know what I'm talking about? I'm a, I'm a bit of a serial killer myself. Yeah. Killing stages all over. <laughs> serial killer. And I'm talking about Fruit Loops. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't a killer, but don't push me. I like that cinnamon toast crunch because I'm a fan of the milk. It really? Is that your go-to? All right, what's yeah. everybody's go-to cereal? Makes it orchata. If you were children, what would you be eating right now? Oh, like if sugar wasn't yeah, uh, bad it wasn't going to kill you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I might have to go last, bro. All right, so Javi said Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Cinnamon Toast Crunch is, is definitely my go-to, because I never used to get it growing up. Okay. Yeah. I, was in, I was in a Frosted Flakes house. That, that's what that's what we had. Oh, wow. that's what everyone would like. That's what everyone would eat. So that's what we got. We, we, our next At least you got the real stuff. So, I got the so cornflakes, and you had to put the sugar on top. Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Apple, oh, yeah. and Apple Jacks. Apple, I, man, I had Apple Jacks sugar. in my head just now. Yeah. I would add sugar even to the, the ones that had sugar. <laughs> so when there's like sugar at the bottom. And you like at the end with the sugar with just the milk. Yep. Honey Bunches of Oats is the best cereal. Oh, really? that is really good. That's like a healthier sick. one, though. Yeah, but it's not. It's like sneaky. It's like it's healthy because like the box looks healthy, but it's all sugar. Yeah, it's not. It all because I like cereal that sinks. Same thing. Yeah, with I get soggy. Bread. I like a sand, like floating it. cereal. Uh, Kicks. Like no. Raisin Bran type of, type of oh, Yeah, thing. I like it to be down there. You know what I mean? Dense it's, cereal. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, man cereal. None of oh, that yeah. floating on the yeah. on the surface. <laughs> Hell out and of the, Those frosted mini wheats, man. If you let them soak. Like for like an hour, damn dude. They're what? Good. No, you gotta let them get mushy. M- <laughs> mush. Mush. You gotta set an mush, alarm. Mush. Like make overnight oats, but with, with makes with, sense with with frosted mini wheats, man. That shit's yeah. good. We used to put it in a cup and let it soak, and uh-huh. then you just drink it instead of scooping it. Oh, there you go. Y'all should do a Same cooking idea. show here. So yeah, what? Y'all gotta do a cooking show it. here. Yeah, you've talked about it, Chingo. Yeah, I'm down. I mean, we got that that kitchen right there. Um, yeah. I, something came up in my Chingle Dropbox. Snacks. Yeah, something came up in my Chingle Dropbox. I mean, honestly, bro, like real talk, like like you know, we get pulled in different directions. Yeah. But sometimes, as as we we try to like have these meetings about you know finagling, like okay, if we would have spent a little bit more on Facebook advertising, could we have possibly sold out the balcony as well? You know what I mean? Like yeah, you're just yeah. trying to figure out how to make it all just really work. And sometimes I'll just be sitting there mm-hmm. as the meeting starts to turn into a bop, 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 yeah. and I'm just thinking to myself like, man, we could just turn on TikTok, Facebook, you turn all that shit on right now. Yeah. And and it's like, do more with less, use those tools that yeah. are out there. You could just think about how many people you can potentially possibly reach just by using all these gadgets and social media places. Yeah. Obviously, you still got to like put up some posters and shake the hands and all that, but... Sometimes I'll just be thinking to myself, like, like yo, like we got to increase the output of like, hey, right. one day we doing five cooking things. Another cooking thing is like, I know it's been done. Like, it's kind of might remind you of like what Shab does with the tro- taco trucks. But like, let's just say I'm, I'm here with my, uh, with my boy Pee Wee. Uh, we're checking out some Vietnamese restaurants in Houston. It's like a set yeah. up a camera, tripod, mic up, and they might be talking about other stuff. Yep. But chop it down, and it's just something enjoyable for for the fans. Yeah, yeah. You do like comedians in cars eating tacos, like, <laughs> like super fun. original. <laughs> <laughs> Put a spit on it. Man. We used to talk about stuff like that when I was the youngest VP of marketing. <laughs> yep. Twitter. Twitter. And, like, youngest <laughs> VP. <laughs> Historic. Uh, yeah. You know, Latin. Latin. The first brown. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, yeah. Diversity uh, hire. Yep. I'm very good with synergy. Synergy. Yep. Uh, yeah, I do that that very well. Yeah. Like, I know all about that. Yeah, all about that. Hey, uh, speaking of sugar and food, shout out to Chef's Paul Cafe in Fresno. Bro, uh, I mean, he ain't got nothing on my wife's mac and cheese. Mm. But, bro, like them, them wings. I, I had, like, some food left over. Um, and so after the show, I, like, I was thinking to myself, I still got that cornbread, that mac and cheese, like, <laughs> a couple wings. And then they had Kool-Aid. I mean, it was fire, bro. In mm. Fresno, wow. California, dog. Chef Paul's Cafe. Cafe. I think I think Rogan shouts it out a lot. Oh really? Okay. Mm-hmm. Is it the tour? It sounds like it's mostly just food. 
There's some of you guys do comedy, but that's, that's <laughs> oh, not a big part fruit. of it. It's yeah, just yeah, yeah. what's what kind of food we got here. Well, di- yeah, because different places do different things. Good. So that's that's the fun part. Yeah. Right? Oh, here's another cool fun uh, food, food detail. Uh, speaking of the road, in Fresno, right, right after the show, we uh, we stepped out to the front, uh, right by the lobby. And people had cleared out. It's like, yo, let's get a shot with the marquee. You know, I think it's called the Tower Theater. And then my boy's like, oh, yeah, look, that's my partner, man. He sells hibachi right there. So you can go get, like, teriyaki chicken, fried rice, shrimp with the extra sauces. Bro, I yeah. took that back to the room, bro. Like, just, mm. Yeah, yeah, the, Just, they were not stingy. Mm-hmm. It was just, like, a whole bunch of delicious fried rice, shrimp on one side. They got, like, that little grill out there, chicken on the other side, yeah. extra sauces. Mm-hmm. We had Sinaloa and sushi in Odessa. See, oh, it was. It was oh yeah, I think it was called Sinaloa. I think. Yeah. What? Yeah. Were they making with people or what? <laughs> Damn, yeah. <With> yeah. snitches. <laughs> um, they, 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 they cut it with the chainsaw. Man. <laughs> yeah. it's it's kind of got a whole theme, just like <laughs> chapo murals everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was good, man. Yeah. They treated us good. Um, Oysters, all kind of stuff. Yeah, but it's it's cool because like when you you go to a different town, people are very proud of their community or whatever. They want to take you to their buddy's restaurant or or, or this place is really good. Yeah, you, you, you know, uh, I prefer the if when it's really good as opposed to you're just friends with the owner because then I know I'm actually getting some good shit. But yeah. when those are the two in the same, that's even that's even better, man. You guys ever eaten at Hawaiian Bros? I have. Yeah. Where's that? You at? have Where is that? I, the one by you, yeah. Yeah, I mean, dude. My wife and I have already been there like six times in like oh, yeah. three days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so it's good. Hawaiian bar, uh, like, like what? Hawaiian like bar. It's like how would you explain it? It's like a like a payway yeah. maybe, but like a yeah. It's pretty Asian. Yeah, you know what I mean. It, but it is like it's like basically it's like white rice and then some meat. Yeah, and they have like three or four different kinds of meat with that gravy and the egg and the like the potato salad. Or well, whatever. one of the locations has some kind of like famous spam dish that I keep yeah. hearing about. That's yeah. not at the one close to me, but the Is one in like Austin a has sushi it. spam. Yeah, something like that. Oh and, yeah, where they wrap it, wrap it like that. Yeah, and then they have like the, all like the Hawaiian stuff, right? Like the yeah. huli huli, spicy, whatever. Yeah. And then they do like a a pulled pork that they do for like fifteen hours. They marinate it for like fifteen hours every yeah. night. It's yeah. fucking delicious. I got a yeah. I got a spam fried rice recipe from a friend of mine that I haven't tried out yet. She's mm. Hawaiian. You chop up the spam also, yeah, and you mix it in. Uh-huh. Yeah, they yeah, that's what they, they do down there. They they add spam to their fried rice. It's pretty cool. <sighs> why are they Why are they on spam? I don't know. I think it had to do with like a military a military base and uh, like the the advent of like canned. Plus, they're just big on pork and yeah. spam is pretty fucking delicious. So I, spam I, is. I, I I don't. I'm not. That's like spam. my guess. I mean, we do it. We do spam and egg. Yep, we grew up with a lot of that. Texas. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how popular it is up here. You're, you're, you're oh yeah, I grew up with that. Yeah, yeah. but my family's all from the eggs. valley. Yeah, spam and egg, man. Oh. Chop you up some spam. My mom is. So I'm half Puerto Rican. I grew okay. up on the Puerto Rican side. My mom would make um, rice, like white rice with eggs and ketchup, mm-hmm. which is like some real poor shit. <laughs> but like, it's just basically like... You thought that was Puerto Rican food. It's like, no, man, that's poor people. <laughs> 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 yeah, basically. But we would do, sometimes we would just have ketchup or leftover rice and my sister would just put ketchup in it and go like, it's good, right? I'm like, oh... Yeah, this that's Puerto Rican. You're like, they're like, this is Puerto Rican, right? Right? <laughs> it's Puerto Rican. Say it is, right? <laughs> but you would do, but you do salchichas in the rice, uh, Vienna sausage, mm-hmm. in the can. It was kind of like like spam, like beanie oh. weenies, kind of Vienna, yeah. Vienna, like Vienna, sausage. Vienna, Vienna oh, okay. sausages, yeah. yeah. But she, she just called them salchichas. Yeah. And but they're, I don't know why. They're, this you is was like po, a thing. Bro, you was po. <laughs> <laughs> the, are we talking about the hot ones or, or like? No, they just come in the white can. You pull it ones. open, and well, then they're like they sardines. Got the spicy ones yeah. too. Yeah. But it was. Uh, I've had that. I've had that. Man, I might be having a revel- I might be having a revelation right now because I'm trying. I think I've had it. Uh, other- You're like, was I poor? Oh, I think yeah. I've had other people's <laughs> rice. I think I was poor. That, that had <laughs> that had Vienna sausages in it. That was a big thing. Is like. Yeah. Everybody had their rice. You know what I mean? Like my aunt had, you could tell it was her rice when you ate it. My grandmother, my mom. So it's like very, it's like, if I if I was like, oh, my, you know, my Aunt Maggie's rice is really good. My mom would be like, you like that? <laughs> <laughs> this is better than my rice. You know? <laughs> but but my, my wife is half Puerto Rican too. So she, we still get, we get the oh. good shit. You know what it's I mean? Down. I'm, dude, I don't think it. I've ever really had Puerto Rican food, bro. It's pretty. It just fry a pork chop, fried pork chop, yellow rice. Mm. We get it. And my wife's also she's also part Cuban, so we you know oh. yuca, 
black beans. Yeah. I've had a lot of Cuban food in my yeah. day. Boy. Yeah, uh, it's. I think. I think it's my favorite. We go back to Florida and uh, where she's from, and we just eat the whole time we're there, and we'll get any like. We used to have a Pueblo Tropical in Austin. You ever been to Pueblo Tropical? Mm-mm. I might have had it once in Florida. Oh, dude. It's like it's basically just fast food, Cuban food. But they actually fast cook food. the meat. You know what I mean? Like, it's not... They don't... Like, they a, don't like a good one. Taco Cabana, but for Cubans? I think it's owned by the same people. <laughs> really? I think it's the same people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, genius. Yeah. Jingle loves... He's always talking Cuban about Cuban Chipotle. sandwiches. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, know, I rarely get the sandwich, though. I get other other stuff. Really? Because when we talk about sandwiches, that's like one of the go-tos. You're like, you got to have a Cuban... I don't know what it's called exactly. Maybe because you say you don't like condiments. And I was like, bro, you ain't never had... Dude, literally, my brother-in-law, I, I, we were out of town. He was like, you ever been to Jersey Mike's? I was like, never. He's like, you got to get it Mike's way. I was like, stop. I've heard this story already. <laughs> Tingo tells me every time. You got to get it Mike's way. You got to let it dressing and all the oils and shit. Mm-hmm. I guess I got to try it now. Just at least I tried it. Yeah, it's because... Uh, we give, well, I give Rob a hard time because he don't like mayo. Oh man! Like he wanted them like dry chicken tendies and ketchup. Tendies, just just cheese and ketchup. All right. Man, you got to get a chicken cutlet grinder. So I'm all from also from Massachusetts. So a grinder is just like a, another word for a hokey like sub hero, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a gay app. <laughs> um, but it's a uh, a chicken cutlet grinder is basically it's like fried chicken. It's basically chicken tenders cut up in in a you know a long hero whatever hoagie whatever lettuce like the shredded lettuce with raw onions uh you put that on after you cook the whole thing so you go bread chicken uh provolone put that in the oven to get hot then you put raw raw onion shredded lettuce mayo close it wrap it up and just let it sit there and it's 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 my favorite food from back home oh. it is like and you gotta let it we try to make it sometimes and it's not the same unless you let it no. sit there because it comes because it gets delivered from a pizza place and it sits mm-hmm. in some guy's car for 15 minutes <laughs> that's, in the that's wax that's part of the process that is part of the process that's what, so we, we had to learn that trying yeah. to recreate it we go no, no not yet put it in the car let's go drive around the neighborhood that's why let's I want to eat and that's what I like about the travel you were asking about the tour and the, and the, and the food I want to eat that but I want to eat that there yeah like where where it originated sometimes like yeah like yeah i want to want to do do as the romans do exactly you know, where, where, i don't want to eat a grinder in salt lake city <laughs> no <laughs> you know, it probably ain't gonna be right there's a chance that you get something out there I, I had one in else, so. colorado that was actually it was pretty close yeah it was pretty close cool we, we had a we had some decent we had some cuban up in up in denver that was it was, yeah. it was okay it was pretty good Corpus just barely got a Cuban spot. I haven't even tried it yet, but they say people are singing its praises, so mm. I'm gonna have to find out. Let me find out. Yeah, they're saying it's it's what? It's good. Like it's a legit, oh. like a legit Cuban. Because we've had places that 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 do it, you know. Yeah. But it's not, you know. Depends how much how much pride and authenticity they're taking. I, I think it's got to be difficult for like Cuban restaurants, only because like most Cubans are gonna be like in Jersey. Florida. Mm-hmm. That's mainly where you're going to find Cubans. And then, so if you're trying to open up in Denver or, you know, Corpus Christi, it's kind of like, all right, how many Cuban food fans do we have? Mm-hmm. So, like, there's a chain here in town that's half, like, taqueria, half Cuban. So that's how to, kind of how they, like, okay. diversify. Mm. Right. Yeah, do you, want, yeah. you don't want a torta también, you know, <laughs> with your Cuban coffee? Yeah. Nothing, better, Cuban than Cuban coffee. Coffee. Nothing better than Cuban coffee. Nothing better than Cuban coffee. Yeah. So What's strange. the difference? How do you, what's, is it just stronger? I think it is strong. They make it in the Definitely thing. Stronger. What do you what do you call that thing that goes like, on the oven? Oh, the like the, like the Yeah, um, I forget the other name for it. So my wife will do it. So like she'll uh, she'll make that with cafe Bustello. and then it's basically just a big ass latte, just a bunch of hot milk pour on top of there. But I know some people put the sugar in with the grounds because mm. um, it's supposed to be super sweet. We try that. I didn't get, we I, I don't know if we know how to do it exactly, but. Like her uncle does that. He'll put sugar in, and then put the ground the grounds, close it, and then it comes out super sweet, hot milk. They call them uh, mocha pots. It's like the little stainless steel uh, espresso. Yeah, it's like that. And That's what we do. The mm-hmm. Bustelo. If we don't do the uh, chingle bling, uh, red pill blend, yeah, we'll, we'll normally do like Bustelo as well. We yeah. have some back here too. Yeah, for the road, big dog. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Get that nice Icky. little caffeine, fucking caffeine headache. Oh yeah. Should make that drive go quick. Made <laughs> 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 to Austin an hour and forty five. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> she's talking about me. <laughs> But yeah, man, it's like a Texas reunion up in here. I know. Man. I was going to ask, like, we're talking about food. Like, if you had to recommend a spot from Texas that maybe Dave hasn't eaten at in nine years, like, what would it be? Like, from your area, Javi, and then maybe from Houston? Uh, from from my area? Oh, I mean, you haven't been down there that, that often. No, man. I've been once or twice. I've been to Corpus. Yeah. Uh, He's finna say boat net. <laughs> No, you know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I know people like Bonet. Like I got family from that lives in Houston that'll drive down to Corpus to get Bonet. It ain't that good. Like, I've never had it. It's it's seriously. It's just it, it's a fast food fish place. The shack. Square square patty little the fish shack. PVC pipe super to order. Cheap, super <laughs> cheap. Like it was always cheap, man. Like 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 even today by today's standards. Like the holding the wall still hood. Open, like super hood. Just. See, I get the I get the fried chicken from there. I don't even get the the fish or the shrimp. We all got the two story water burger down there. Right? We got the two story water burger. It's not the first water burger. Google be lying to your ass like <laughs> everything else. And people are like, oh, this is the first water burger. Like, no, they didn't like. No, it was good. You think like a Burger Shack was like, hey man, let's buy some real estate on the fucking water. Let's start big. When we first yeah. open up, <laughs> open up. This is not the first one. The first one was in the middle of fucking town. It was a little fucking twenty five cent Burger Shack. Hey, yeah. Uh, um, man, because people things be changing. We we definitely got. If you want like a like a good uh, seafood I- I experience, there's places like I wouldn't even say in Corpus. Like you go to Rockport. Yep. Uh, there's a place called Charlotte Plumbers. That shit is is delicious. What do they make? It, it, it's seafood. It, it's uh, it's, all, it's all fresh seafood. You're you're right there on on. On the water, you see the shrimp boats and everything out there. So yeah, it just in it, it just makes the f- makes the food taste better because you're like like damn it, I bet this fish just came out the water yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like five minutes ago. Even if they didn't, just the fact that you're right there by that by that water makes it even better. And then they have a bread pudding uh, after that. That, that, that it's just <sighs> love delicious. bread pudding. Yeah, yeah seafood see, seafood is, is it, man. There's uh, if you like sushi, we got we got some like. Super talented sushi chefs in, in Corpus, man. There's one spot out on the island called Rock and Roll Sushi. Okay, those would be the first. If you we're just talking about Texas, if you've never done it before, if you're a Texan though, not 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 a Corpus, you got to go to the original Rudy's, the one the one out out in the Bernie area. Oh, not really? these not these recreates. Yeah, yeah, not the gas behind, station one like, behind the gas. Well, that station. one had a gas station too, though. Yeah, the original. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 it did. It it did. It was. It's, it's I amazing. love Rudy. That man. stuff's amazing. Yeah, I that the one he's describing is like like a uh, a remnant. Like it looks like they used to literally smoke the barbecue in the building. Like, yeah, like all right there. It's just like a dark shanty. Dude, the first time I went out there, I was a. I used to be a courier in San Antonio, man. The first time I went out there. Uh, you know, I had to go. I had to go pick up some some food for somebody. I got off the car and my mouth just started like literally yeah. salad, salad, like, just from the smell. Like a floor, cartoon, like, just float into yeah, it. No, for real. Yeah, if I was a cartoon, man, my mouth was just, exactly like a dog. I love Rudy's, man. I, I'm not from Texas, so people. I know people are like, oh, it's a gas station. Uh, brisket or whatever I go no somebody no, told no. me before who's not from here and they made a good point if you take Rudy's and put it in any other city in America it's the best barbecue place in that city yeah it's great that's it that, that's where we go hmm. yeah, yeah I like it you like, you like, yeah, it's yeah. consistently good barbecue I like Rudy's but, but the, the, that original is on the, the original pit master out there like it was just yeah Damn, what about you, right, No, I, think, you're not, right, I know you're thinking. <laughs> well, well, uh, Javi took it, Texas, Texas. He even threw Bernie in there. Rockport, yeah. Christy. Uh, let's see, Houston's definitely a food city. Uh, maybe check out, like, uh, Turkey Leg Hut. You know, okay. You know, get your little bowl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, anyway. Mambo Seafood. Or actually, uh, Taconazo. Uh, it's, like a, it's like a taco truck on the north side. And then, speaking of, like, taquerias... Um, Tostada Regia, they're pretty contis- uh, consistent and legit. Yeah. Tostada Regia um, on Edgebrook, they got a whole bunch of taco trucks. Houston got like some good barbecue too. Yeah. We got all kinds of stuff. Yeah, if you're talking about Houston, you got here uh, the Breakfast Club, man. That's I've heard, really, man, it's really right around the corner. Favorite, Never man. been there. Oh, I've heard bro. people. My Uber driver in Fresno so was like, good. man. Oh. He's so like, dude, good, he bro. said, that's the first place where you come out of the store and the homeless people, they're like, nah, bro, I'll take you, I'll take you left. Yeah. Like, <laughs> normally they're like, nah, bro, I need money, bro, I need no fucking yeah. food. It's 
Throw yeah. some of your breath and shit. No, <laughs> some chicken and waffles there, man. Just amazing, bro. They Those have one in the airport there. too, in Hobby yeah. Airport. There's a lot. There's a lot of food, all kinds of food in Houston. You know what I mean? Vietnamese. Like what yeah. That other di- what's that other diner we used to go to with, with, with y'all when we'd come up here and write and stuff? That I'm was pretty good too. Damn. I hop. No kidding. Uh, <laughs> let's see. We diner. Did a lot of diner in Houston. Back when the, back when they were on their meal plans. And was, it dot, was it dot? Was it dot? Dots. Was it? Dot, I think so. Yeah, Maybe that, dots. That was all right. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. You said right. Vietnamese. I went to Mai's recently. It's good. It's, it's still, still good. It's still got it going, it's still on. Got it going on. The banh mi. Yeah, dude. So the spring good. Spring rolls. They have a dish on there. I think Anthony Bourdain like rated something really high. It's like it's the 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 beef, the, gar- the garlic beef. <sighs> still good. After all this time. That's what I like to order from Vietnamese oh, places a lot of yeah. times. So what, what would you recommend, Dave J? Uh, I would say, if, man, I don't know if, it, like, on the southwest side of town, there's a Mexican place called Lopez. I think it's some of the best Mexican food. I've been going there for a long time, but it's delicious. Yeah? Yeah. It's, you know, it's tough, tough to get in Texas. Maybe you, know, you all know somewhere is pizza. You have a good pizza in Houston? Like, rural pizza or, like, funky Pink's, pizza? Uh, like, I was going to say, pizza. yeah. Pink's Pizza on the north side is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. We got good pizza down in Corpus. For some reason, we got a lot of pizza places, and they're all, you know, above average to to really good. Uh, the co- the comic club there is is a pizza place. We've had New York comics come through there, and are like, yeah, this is, yeah, like give, give, it, the give, stamp. It, give, give it the stab. Like, yeah, yeah. Is, at Mesquite, this is legit at Mesquite. Yeah, and then even there's another comic club. They they do same thing. A lot of New York style. Yeah, places authentic, authentic New York pizza stuff like that. It's, it's yeah. really good out there, man. And then there, there's a food truck called Marty McPies that the people <laughs> swear. Okay, by. yeah, damn, yeah. yeah. Corpus, Corpus likes to eat, man. Yeah, yeah. Texas likes to eat, dude. Yeah. If you like <laughs> South Texas, man. If you like South Texas stuff, carne guisada, man. You gotta go by Julio's Easy Stop. They're only yeah. open. They're, they're only open till like three o'clock in the afternoon on on Saturdays, though. So well, you know what we just got up in early. up by me is uh, Taco Palenque. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. They're, they're a little pricey, but they good though. Yeah, they, they, yeah we I just can't. get just the just the beef, just the tray of the beef. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, and we go maybe that's better. Bring it home, and uh, make sure yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like that's so. like the backstage catering. Ten dollars yeah, for yeah, taco yeah. ones from Fidel or little, little little steep for me, man. You know that's the same owner uh, owns uh, Pollo Loco. Uh-huh. Oh, for real? Same same guy from Laredo. You know. Same deal, and then they have the Palenque grills, which are like the the More higher uh, higher elevated. More like a sit it's like down, a chili. more like a casual dining okay. experience. Yeah. When yeah. I went, when I did Laredo last, I definitely went to Taco Palenque. Yeah. Got some piratas. That's where I found out about it. Yeah. I did a show out there, and they're like, "We gotta go." I gotta to be Taco the right Palenque. amount of drunk to go spend that much on a taco, man. It's good. <laughs> Dude, the line's <laughs> crazy too. The like, yeah. One in the too. morning, just the drive-through line is like a mile long, and I'm like, "I hope these are good, man." <laughs> I, yeah. just, I was introduced to a place in San Marcos. It's in a tiny little, looked like it used to be an old snow cone shack or something. I can't remember the name of it, but the line is literally down the road. Like one whole lane yeah. of the street is like you can't use it because it's stopped. So we, you can either wait in line, which everybody was doing, or you could go to the window and order at the window. And there was only three people at the window. And we got it in like six minutes. They were some of the best fucking tacos. I got to find the name because yeah. it was delicious. And it's all like, no one speaks English. It's just like, mija. Yeah. That's mija. a good sign. It, it's a great sign, right? Yeah. yeah. And they did not disappoint. <laughs> was it just breakfast? They had uh, no, they had everything. They had, they had barbacoa, but they also had just like other like fajita tacos and stuff. Yeah. But their breakfast tacos were bomb. dot com. Right now, eggs are high, man. So yeah. no in line. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, breakfast tacos no more. We paid for it in the taco. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we gotta let the audience know the funniest part of this episode, man, is we we all literally <laughs> just, just ate. We just, <laughs> <laughs> just ate right I'm before right, than right a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm fuller than a motherfucker. For <laughs> Lord have mercy. Yeah, yeah that is right. that is the the funniest part of this whole situation. That's the punchline, right? This is the second episode. You're like, man, doing another food episode. Let's cut this one short, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to eat. Yeah, right. Man. Let's see what else. Uh, it's like alt comic and shit. What else? All right, we talked so, about so barbecue. What, what, so, so, what do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> yeah. uh, let's if see. If you don't get the fuck off stage, what, the hell else? Is what I want to talk about. You ever hit any of these like rooms out here, like? Like a secret group or anything like that. I'm actually about to. I don't have any. I don't have a date yet, but I'm talking to a guy over there at the riot to kind of trying to put together a weekend of shows and showcases in Houston soon. Um, a lot and a lot of Austin comics they want to get out of town to come down to Houston. Mm-hmm. Riot, secret group are like the two like main targets down here for them. Um, I just went. I just did 
Dallas or I guess Dallas areas, we did McKinney and Addison a couple couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago now. Um, and I kind of want to do a similar thing. You go up there and just hit like every night a different club um, and try to get in as much kind of rotation in the area as possible in a handful of days. Go home, try to break even, that type of thing. So you got some connects that yeah. got it in at all the spots? Yeah, I think so. Every, everybody, Everyone's like, oh, I know a guy. And you're like, all right, everyone knows a guy. We'll see if the guy answers my email. You ever email him? Yeah, yeah, no, I email yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, I, I email him his house. Did that part. <laughs> but no, yeah. I mean, I'm excited to come down here. I, uh, I was saying last time, like, I like traveling around Texas. You know what I mean? Because it's just like, you get out of Austin where, you know, People there, they're almost people. You know what I mean? They're not all the way people. Mm -hmm. you, you, you see some actual real life humans when you yeah. get out of when you get out of Travis County <laughs> down here. You say like, like, you say like Hollywood type real, fake real type people. Moment. Yeah, you know it is. It's like everyone. It's uh, what, what I do like about Austin now is that there are enough rooms in Austin that like each one, even though they're like just a couple miles away from each other, sometimes has like a distinct kind of audience. Like there's a room on the east side that is like it's the most liberal audience in in Austin, which is which is hard to top. But I, every time I go there, I'm like, oh okay, I I know what I can't say here. So they really they get tight well, on well, certain well, topics. Well, they get tight. Yeah. What room is that? This is the East Austin Comedy Club. Great oh, club. Oh really? Yeah, great club. Okay. Um, uh, I, I did it when it was like it was like their second week open. Yeah. So it was a little. It's a cool little spot. It's a room with my friend uh -huh. uh, Reza Joffrey. And I like that room, but it is there's certain things where they're like, eh. they get like triggered. When you say the room, you mean the audience? The audience, like the, okay. yeah. The audience. No, the room's great. Oh, okay. Rosa runs it is like, oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, when I was there, it was like, uh, it was like bachelorette parties and yeah. bachelor parties. So, yeah. but, but I guess locals have found it. I guess. Is yeah, because it's on the east side. Uh -huh. So if you live on the east side, you're like you recently like. Got you it. know, mushed a Mexican family in the yeah. face to so you can live in their house. <laughs> well, good to know. And then you go to a comedy club. Get the hell out the way. <laughs> yeah. Make your taxes go up. Yeah. So so some of those people. Then you go a couple miles down the road, you go to the creek, and it's like, yeah, anything goes. You know what I mean? So it's mm -hmm. each room oh, no, has I'm a different kidding. flavor. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, yeah my, I, I don't think I've ever done a room like that but my theory is always like man that's got to be the worst audience right when they're just like uh yeah no not i'm not on board with that yeah or that that's mean you know that kind of thing it's like comedy yeah. isn't me isn't nice i think the thing with people like that is like it's not even i think they're afraid to enjoy it mm -hmm. so it's you'll get the people who are like that who are like no but then there are some people who are like, I don't think we can laugh at that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So they kind of get tight like that. And you're going to go shut up. You know what I mean? Yeah, they want to like acknowledge their privilege. Uh, first, let me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, first yeah. and first mm -hmm. most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit like that. But, you know. I need to check my own privilege right now. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm in trouble. <laughs> systemically, laws have been in my favor. For my <laughs> There's a lot of that going on. But it's a, it's a, it's pretty diverse room to room. Which you can get away with. That's good. Yeah, there's some rooms where it's like you better, you better drop a hard R, or you're not gonna. Get oh a laugh. damn! <laughs> it's like extreme. The, the creaking cave. Uh, no, I'm more like the Vulcan. Oh okay. Yeah. Like overcompensate, like overcorrect, like yeah. yeah. There's plenty of that. Oh, the nice Vulcan song. crowds, they're Honestly, like that. That door swings shit. both ways. Let's be honest yeah. about it. If, if if you have an audience that is one has one mind frame, if you say anything that goes against their grain, they're gonna yeah, pipe yeah, yeah, up yeah. and say something. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I could see that. Well, like sure. we were talking about earlier, you know, like uh, there, there's some stuff you just gotta learn to go. Like, mm -hmm. oh, if you, I'm here to make you laugh, this thing's not gonna make you laugh. So. Oh, you gonna get these jokes? One so I'll just another. go. I'll go over here. You know what I mean? But you, you, you know, you just gotta perform in enough places to figure out what your thing is that works everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know. Hmm. That's why I just you know. Yeah. That's why I just do Mexicans. Or like Patrice, <laughs> or, or, or like Patrice said, you, you you should only be making really half of the people laugh. Yeah. Ah, you know? Okay. That sounds about right. Yeah, man. That's an interesting Shout theory. out again, Sean. Ball, 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 Ball. I had seen that quote before, but he sent me a, a, a documentary on Patrice. And so I went back down the, the Patrice rabbit hole. And, yeah. Uh, and de definitely, you know, his, his philosophy on, on comedy, a lot, a lot of... Uh, a lot of comics can uh, could definitely use a refresher course. Yeah. 
Oh, really? Send oh, that to me. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I can send it to you because I figured he no, send uh, it to Sean you as sent well. me. Sean sent me yeah. uh, some things, but I don't think that was one. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll definitely shoot shoot that over over to you. It was cool. It, it was a YouTuber like YouTube style documentary, but it had a lot of good like old clips of interviews of, of Patrice and stuff. That was it was good, man. Man, uh, shout out to Pi Tequila. Uh, Pi Tequila, please send us some more bottles, please. Uh, that way, every one of our guests can make it home he's gonna be like bro you better start buying your own damn bottle <laughs> <laughs> let me find we out are, you... we are in appreciating yeah. and enjoying it man. pie tequila uh spe- man especially the the black bottle uh yeah. i think oh that black bottle i think they're in my house i that know you took it in odessa man i i had me some fun yeah fun I, with that one. did you see the picture rob from backstage in odessa mm. with uh, sean member of the theater stand back stand by he brought like a bunch of bottles i think he was gonna mail them to some of the members oh wow and uh, i signed them all and uh, I, you know one of them made it to my luggage okay yeah. okay I've tried getting it twice at the Specs downtown they're sold out man they there you go that, that means the sponsorship working yeah you know what I'm, you know saying? What I'm saying supply and demand yes sir it's like that just need to get the cut out <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just walk into Specs. Dude, that's perfect. Like 50 Cent? <laughs> or, or actually, I'll, I'll be like... <laughs> oh, like Jake Paul, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that good marketing. <laughs> For sure, because we want to send, uh, we wanna send uh, Dave J back. He, maybe he could be an ambassador in the ATX in the capital. Yeah, like, Dave, here's this half bottle for you, you know? <laughs> yeah, you could share this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there's a, a little bit left at the bottom. But uh, also, everybody tune in to uh, This Dave in History This podcast. Dave in History. It's a podcast every Friday. Talk about history. And I'm going to be on an episode. Yes, right? you are. Yes, very excited about that. That and uh, just follow me on Instagram, at Dave J Comic. You get all the good updates about shows and shit like that. Hell yeah. Javi, let them know where they can find you. Yeah, man. Find me everywhere at Javi Luna Comedy, Universal Comedy on YouTube. We're the special, home of the special there, man. Of course, and don't forget, you can find me 420 in Corpus, man, and Cinco de Mayo in San Antonio at Upstage Comedy. Gordito de Mayo at Upstage. Gordito de Mayo. And there. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Tick, on everywhere. Oh. At Javi Luna Comedy. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Snapchat. I'm not on Snapchat. I'm on the there. Premium. But I don't do nothing on there. So, so. But, but yeah. yeah, I'm on there, though. I'm on yeah. there. If you yeah, want to find me account. on there, you know, I'm on yeah, there. Yeah, I got an account, too, but I ain't been posting. But, hey, uh, what do you say, podcast? Yo, please tell a friend. If y'all enjoy all the shows that we create, man, we appreciate the love. Give us the feedback. Hit the subscribe, the like. Share a link, share a clip, and uh, we'll holler at you next time. What did he say? Das.